Hello everyone, welcome to Moonflower Tarot. Before I begin, I just want to remind you that I now have an Etsy page where you can get personal email readings from me, and the link to that Etsy page is in the description box below. So without further ado, let's start. So the purpose of this video or tarot reading is to figure out who is your twin flame. So we're going to talk about who they are, what they're like, and maybe how you'll meet them if it comes up in the cards. So let's start right away. We have three piles here, one, two, three, and each one has a paper crane representing the pile. So I'm going to count down from 10, and that's going to give you 10 seconds to decide between the three piles or the three paper cranes starting now. And don't think about it too much, just go with the first paper crane that resonated with you from the start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so if you've made your choice, I'm going to go straight into group 1 and I'm going to move the other piles out of the way. So I'm just going to move the other piles to the side and we will get to these later. Okay, so what do we have for pile one? Um, so who is their twin flame? So who's their twin flame? Let's see what we have. It's gonna go in and out of focus as I move, so just bear with me. Um, once we get the cards out, uh, it's gonna be less <clears throat> blurry or going um, in and out less. So who is group one? soulmate who is group one soulmate let's uh take a look see uh, excuse me who is their twin flame which is basically the same some you know similar energy as a soulmate um but yeah so let's see who is your twin flame so i'm seeing that you will meet this person um around the time when karma is really playing in your favor i'm getting the sense that you have put in a lot of work whether it's uh, self-work really growing yourself professionally emotionally spiritually or even um you know meeting certain goals that you set for yourself and i'm seeing that the universe is paying attention the universe um, will turn the wheel in your favor um, as indicated by justice and you're going to meet this person or maybe you have already met this person but you will come in contact with them again possibly um, or you will meet them for the first time in this lifetime around that time um, so you'll either meet them for the first time or reconnect with this person um, around the time when karma starts really, um, lady luck, lady fortune starts to really start playing in your favor. Like it's just going to be like this really abundant time, um, where you just feel like new opportunities opening up new opportunities, so many opportunities and abundant sort of things being tossed at you being, you're like being showered with abundance prosperity um gifts blessings you know karma is once again lady karma is um you know bringing in all of that prosperity and abundance around the time that you meet this person and i think that when you do meet them or reconnect with them with this twin flame it's like they will notice the prosperity the abundance that you are being showered with it's gonna be like so deeply ingrained it's gonna start becoming so ingrained in you that energy of abundance that energy of prosperity fortune luck you know blessings that it's like they're gonna notice that about you and also i'm getting a sense that this per with this person's energy you it's like they bring in more of that energy and kind of make it more structured in your life it's like they provide almost like a some kind of foundation or they add to the foundation of that abundant and pros 
prosperous energy here. I'm getting like, this is you, this is them, or maybe vice versa. Um, so it's like you're somehow like each other's partners in crime when it comes to building something maybe together. Um, I'm going to take a quick sip of my tea for a second. So yes, it's quite beautiful here. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So this person is extremely attracted to you and they're very loyal. It's almost like they have fire in their heart when it comes to their passion and loyalty for you. Um, yeah, it's like you have, you have them wrapped around your finger basically, this twin flame. And I'm getting that this person has a lot of fire in their chart. So yeah, represented by the lion and the sunflowers. Um, so Leo, Aries, Sag uh, in their astrological chart. I think I'm getting a strong earth, uh, earth energy from you. You could both be fire signs, but I'm definitely getting more strong earth placements in your astrological chart and then fire in their chart. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So let's move on to the next, um, you know, cards to see. Let's look at some more clues here on what more information we may have here in terms of what they're going to be like. Ooh, such beautiful. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, look at this. So we have Strawberry Shimmer or the Nine of uh, Diamonds. We have Begin and then we have this beautiful heart. So, oh my gosh, I don't know why this is just looking at this is making me smile. It's just so beautiful. And it's also making me think of like strawberries or like pink icing, you know, just really like feminine. Okay, I'm getting this strong sense that you may have earth placements for sure, like either Taurus or Virgo or maybe even Libra. Um, I don't know why I always get this in a lot of my readings, but I always get a lot of Venusian energy from my viewers. Venusian meaning um, Taurus or Libra, but even if you're not Taurus or Libra, like just that energy, that Venusian energy, you know. But here we have Nine of Diamonds. So once again, going with that prosperity, it's like, you know, they're going to be bringing in um, prosperity as you are. It's like that time when karma lends you prosperity and abundance, they're going to, this twin flame is going to enter your life and then make it more abundant, more prosperous. And also I'm getting this um, vibe that you are very feminine. That's what they like about you. It's like, I'm almost getting this vibe that like they will somehow, when they see you, like they think of like strawberry fields or like a field of strawberries, like that smell of like strawberries. It's just like delicious. It's intoxicating. And it's also like mouth watering, you know, like straw, like a field of strawberries. It's so fresh as well. Um, oh, it's, and it's fun. It's like flirty, like that kind of energy between the two of you. And also romance um, with all the pink, um, very romantic and spring so you may meet them or when you meet them it may feel like a breath of fresh air like spring energy it may not necessarily be actual spring the season but it could be like that energy of spring um yeah that's what i'm getting and then here we have begin so i'm getting this strong energy that yeah this person you will meet um you'll meet your, this twin flame when you're beginning something new in your life or like a new phase of your life or once again you feel so much prosperity and abundance like more than you ever have and you're just like wow i'm having trouble like even recognizing myself because it's like the transformation that you're going through it's like you're gonna have trouble recognizing yourself because you're transforming so much for the better and you're be beginning new creative projects like new endeavors maybe even just meeting goals and manifesting things towards you that you've never really have done in the past it's all new and so and i'm also getting this energy that regardless of your past um, regardless of their past, um, it's like when you meet them, it's going to be like beginning fresh. It's like a clean slate, you know what I mean? Like beginning fresh, like spring energy, like 
the field of strawberries, you know, it's just fresh. Like, that's the only way I can really describe it. Um, begin. I think that's a really um, a powerful message here. And then here we have the heart. So yeah, this person is just going to be romantic, this twin flame. I'm getting this energy that they're the type that really likes to pamper their partner, really like loves to please, eager to please their partner, loves to treat their partner um, in a really sweet way. And they're just really, really sweet. Um, and I'm also getting that, um, you know, on important dates like Valentine's Day or your birthday or anniversaries, this is the type of person that does not play around. Like, they're the type of person that I think just really loves to pamper their partner. And it's just quite beautiful. Like, this really sweet, beautiful energy. Okay, so let's have a look-see at some more, um, one last piece of imagery. Like, how they what like draws them to you like how are they going to recognize you so here i'm seeing sensuality so i'm not going to go as far to say that your sensuality <clears throat> is the only thing that draws them in because it's not because they do have really strong emotions and all that and they admire you you know, for the things that you do, for the things that you are able to manifest, um, your manifestation energy, it's quite beautiful. But I am also seeing that, yes, you do have a strong sensuality about you um, naturally, once again, going um, with that Venusian energy, um, corresponding with that Venusian energy that I mentioned earlier. But also, it's like, once again, you know, you, I think you just naturally have this like raw sensuality about you or if not, by the time you meet this twin flame or reconnect with this twin flame, whichever one it is, it's like you will have developed a new kind of sensuality almost going hand in hand with you um, developing in other ways, transforming in other ways. Maybe you will sort of get more in tune with your sensuality or maybe more... Um, you know, either if you're feminine, you know, more feminine, or if you're masculine, more in tune with your masculinity, like something that just makes you feel more in touch with all five of your senses, and also just um, kind of like, you know, like judging it up all of a sudden, like suddenly you just feel like free, you know, more free to judge it up, and you know, more va va voom, and like more getting, you know, getting more in touch with your passionate energy, you know, that abundance going hand in hand with that transformation. It's just like, yeah, in general, just you getting way more in touch with, with your sensuality. I think that that's something that's really going to draw them in and more magnetically, more irresistibly. So let's look at one last message that may be significant here when in regards to this twin flame. So I'm seeing change. Know when to move to a new shell, especially if yours no longer fits. So yeah, so going hand in hand with pretty much everything, like all the cards that we saw earlier, I'm seeing that you will meet this twin flame or reconnect with them if you already know them. Um when you're undergoing a major change and this is a positive change ultimately and once again a change after you've put in a lot of work in many aspects of your life when karma is paying attention and when karma is going to um, shower you know prosperity abundance fortune into your life and in a way that is very transformative it's very beautiful and once again you know getting more in tune with your sensuality that's also a transformation in itself um so yeah you know this is very like lucky very beautiful energy just um a lot of synchronicity so like comment subscribe share if this resonated with you and i just want to remind you again uh, group one for this crane that i now have an etsy page where you can get personal email readings from me and the link to that etsy page is in the description box below so i'm gonna just move these out of the way and without further ado get into group two so let's get into group two. So for this crane, so what do we have for group two in terms of who is their twin flame? So who is their twin flame? I'm just going to start with these cards first. So who is group two's twin flame? Ooh, this is backwards. Oh no, this is upright actually. 
confused. <laughs> like the Spider-Man kiss. That's what I thought of when I looked at that. Um, oh, we actually have an extra card for this group. Okay. Kind of just like sneaked its way in. So we have a fourth card. Um, normally I only do like three at most at a time, but we have four. Ooh, lovely. Okay, so let's take a look here. So hold on, let me take a quick sip of my tea. So let's take a look. It looks like you're going to meet this twin flame most likely in a work situation with a three of pentacles. And it's going to be like kind of a surprise. Like either you will surprise them or they will surprise you. It's like maybe you know this person at work, but I'm really getting the strong sense that this is going to be a new person. It may not be. It may be you reconnecting with someone that you already know in a different way um, as well. But I think it depends, you know, because this is a really general reading. But I am getting that um, it's going to be kind of a surprise for some reason. Like maybe suddenly like you'll notice them in a way that you never noticed before or vice versa. Like they'll notice you in a way that they never noticed before. Or maybe you're new in each other's lives like at work or if not at work, this could be like a professional setting or even like a networking event. Even if it's a virtual net networking event or a virtual situation, um, given the times, or maybe it could be that you have something in common when it comes to your professional careers or your professional something, like you're part of the profession, uh, the same professional network or something like that, but you're going to meet through that with the, um, clearly with the three of coins, that's what's going on. And wow, when you meet this person, you're going to feel like on top of the world. Like this is like wish fulfillment energy, like this person coming into your life it's definitely like wish fulfillment like you're gonna feel almost like you're spinning round and round it's like you're seeing stars because it's like oh my god like you're just like overwhelmed by with like how much of a dream come true it feels like and you may not realize it outright but i think the more you get to know this person and the more that they get to know you and the more that you experience different things together, experience, um, you know, happy events together, um, grow closer in your bond emotionally, you're going to just, I think it's going to unravel, you know, where you just feel like, oh my gosh, like, this is what I need. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, because with the nine of cups or nine of chalices, it's all about wish fulfillment. You're just going to feel like you're, you know, on top of the world, like floating, um, you know, as shown by the ballerina, very beautiful image and the lovers. So I'm getting the sense that your relationship or dynamic is going to be kind of progressive in some way. Um, it could be like same sex couple, um, as shown in the card, but it could also be, um, this is also, um, like biracial, uh, I mean, not biracial, um, that's the wrong word, sorry, um, uh, like two, like you're, you come from two different ethnicities, two different backgrounds, two different races, or maybe even like two different religions or something where you're just like two people from different, um, worlds kind of like different backgrounds but you're also um similar it's like that's why you're twin flame because it's like you share something really similar but you're also different and it's very beautiful it's very like i'm also getting like some kind of hmm like double uh astrology sign so either gemini pisces um libra yeah, I think those are the ones. Yeah, Gemini, Pisces, or Libra. So I'm getting that strong sense that one or both of you are either Gemini, Pisces, or Libra. I'm getting a strong Pisces energy from you uh, with this card. Um, from them, I think I might be getting Libra or maybe Gemini, or maybe it's like mixed together. But yeah, definitely some strong Libra, Gemini, or uh, Piscean, Pisces uh, placements in your astrological charts. And then here we have three, uh, the Empress. So they, I think, see you as a very nurturing figure, like a divine uh, feminine, or if you're masculine, like a divine masculine figure. Like they just see you as this person is like 
almost like everything that I ever imagined in someone, someone who was like ideal of the gender that they're attracted to. So if they're attracted to women, they're attracted to men, they see you as the ideal of that gender um, represented, represented by the empress. You have a very like nurturing energy. If you're male, also nurturing or protective energy. Um, it's just very like, I think I'm getting this energy that when they're with you, they feel like comforted, like almost like maybe like brought back to like this feeling of like comfort and just like, I don't know why I'm getting this energy of like somebody has a puppy or like a cat or dog or cat or puppy or kitten, um, one or both of you. That's kind of what I'm getting too, but it's like when they're with you, they feel like a puppy or a kitten or a cat or a dog that's like nestled, you know, in your lap or in a bunch of blankets or something like that. It's just they feel like comforted with you. Um, so let's look at some more cards here to see what more insight we might have about this twin flame of yours. So let's see. What more information do we have about this twin flame? So here we have a uh, unicorn donut or <laughs> queen of hearts. We have rest. And then we have the flowers. So, yeah, they, wow, they really, I think I'm getting this vibe that they see you as, like, the mother of their children, once again, like, or if you're a man, like, the father of their children. Um, they see you as, like, the divine feminine or the divine masculine. Um, yeah, you're basically, like, a dream in their eyes. Um may even kind of put you on a pedestal and they also want to i'm getting this strong sense that they want to like protect you from the world but also it's like when they're with you they feel protected from the world almost like when you're together it's like a cocoon of like protection of warmth of bonding you know it's just very very sweet and here we have rest so yeah, when they're with you, once again, they just feel like, oh, I can finally breathe. You know what I mean? Like, I'm also getting this energy that when they're with you, they kind of feel like they're home or they feel like, you know, they are, yeah, once again, like in a cocoon where they can just rest, they can breathe. It's like they feel protected. They feel comforted. They just feel whole and just calm. You know, it's like you bring them peace. Um, this person may be kind of, um, not anxiety prone, but they may be kind of type A, you know, they're kind of like go, go, go. Um, but when they're with you, it's like they can finally breathe and just kind of like, you know, like this feeling of like, oh, I feel so comforted, you know, by their presence. Like that's the energy that I'm getting with this. Beautiful. And then here we have the flowers. So I think that Another thing that you're going to share together with this twin flame is um, you're going to share a lot of beautiful events together. Given the, given the times, this could be even like virtual events, but you are going to bond closer together through these beautiful events or ceremonies, whether it's like graduation, baby shower, wedding, birthdays, you know, just like beautiful events or even like, you know, like... Um, work events like virtual work events or just like social events that are happy and you know social or like celebratory events this could once again be virtual you know given the current times um you can ignore this if this is um in the future when covid is all over but you know unfortunately uh that's not the case now but uh get the drift so i'm gonna move on to one last image one last piece of image here um, to see if maybe we have some more significant imagery for you guys. So we have harmony. Yeah, so this goes really hand in hand with the fact that they just feel at peace with you. Like they see you as like, not a panda obviously, but they see you as like, just like warm and like cuddly, like comforting person, you know, like a cloud of 
peace, a cloud of harmony that when they're with you, once again, it's like they can breathe, they feel comforted, they feel warm and fuzzy inside. It's like you just bring them peace, you you bring harmony into their life. And ultimately, that's what they just really um, are drawn to you for, you know, it's just you bring harmony into their life. And I think that's really important, um, an important thing to seek or have in your life is harmony so let's move on to one less uh symbolism here for you that might be significant so chance allow the sea to wash its chest of wonders ashore you never know what the tide may bring in so wow yeah this is gonna be like a chance meeting like i mentioned earlier like it's gonna be a surprise or either like even if you're not meeting this person for the first time this could be like a blast from the past but it's not gonna be expected like i'm getting this energy that it's not necessarily gonna be an ex or someone that you expect but this is gonna be like someone that you maybe you don't even think about that that much from your day to day and then some and then suddenly it's like you're gonna somehow get back in contact with them or maybe meet them for the first time without even expecting it it's just going to be out of the blue like boom and um suddenly you're just gonna be like oh oh hi you know like that kind of energy like oh hello and you're just like not expecting it so that's the energy that i'm getting with chance yeah so yeah just you know be i guess my advice would be to just be receptive and um getting a lot of positive positive energy from this spread so yeah just uh, be optimistic be receptive um and don't stress don't um uh, overthink or anything just you know allow it to happen because i think this is really going to be like a, um, a moment of like serendipity of chance you know so like, uh, comment, subscribe, share if this resonated with you. And I just want to remind you again, uh, group two for this crane, that I now have an Etsy page where you can get personal email readings from me. And the link to that Etsy page is in the description box below. So without further ado, I'm going to move um, these cards out of the way and I'm going to go straight into group three. Let me just move these. So group three for this crane. So what do we have for you guys um so what do we have for you guys in terms of who um the question who is your twin flame so who is your twin flame it's a very very important question i think who is your twin flame so let's try to get some imagery oh wow this is really like powerful i think this is a pretty powerful spread just looking at the images it's not um it's not like a passive like soft imagery it's very like powerful like boom 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 so okay hold on let me just take a really quick sip of my tea before i start so i'm getting this energy that you'll kind you'll meet this person when you're do you're experiencing something it's black excuse me um tongue tied experiencing something new in your life um either traveling of course um now that COVID is going on this may be in the future when it's safe to travel again um or even if it's not physical travel it could literally be like learning something new or i'm almost even getting this image of World Wide web like um is it just me but i mean uh, clearly you can see this right like this person is like in the center of the World Wide web and it's like they're communicating with these people virtually like virtual groups or social media or something but i am really getting the strong sense that um even if it's not physical travel you will meet this person when you're traveling in a different way um like virtually or uh really this the strong key point is you're experiencing something new almost like traveling where you're going places where you've never been before this could be once again like virtually like virtual um networking events or virtual like social sort of things or even just social media it's gonna be new though like if this is gonna happen you're gonna meet this person when you're in a new environment whether it's traveling physically or virtually um or just in the future um in the future when it's safe to travel again um that could also be the case um but you're 
gonna be really like in your element when you meet this person and you're gonna have a lot of options around you because just look at this you're gonna have a lot going on you're gonna have a lot of options and ultimately you're going to be going through a new experience and it's gonna be real exciting here but you're gonna be in your element this person with the lovers here um on the other side of the spectrum i'm seeing that you both love to travel you both love to experience new things um you know this here this sort of similar energy and you are really strongly tied to each other in your twin flame bond maybe even more intensely than any other spread um because look at this this is this is twin flame imagery right here um it's intense it's like i think you might have even had like a past life together some past life history and it's like now you're coming together in this current life um that kind of energy and yes once again you love uh, experiencing new things whether it's travel or like um trying new you know currently it's like virtual uh experiences are the thing now because of covid so maybe you're even you know into trying like new virtual um ways of socializing or this could even be just trying new hobbies trying learning new things like you're both really into like new new experiences in general whether it's learning something new experiencing something new new environments um things like that and that's what you're going to bond over here and once again it's like see this image it's like they are two different entities but they share the same heart i mean clearly if you look at this um you can see and it's very intense i'm getting some scorpio energy from one or both of you um this may not necessarily be in your sun sign but it could be in either your moon uh rising or venus signs um, i'm getting some strong scorpio energy very very intense energy here very like ride or die like loyal like it's like you can't live without each other like i think this is because you have shared that past life experience that was very very intense and so when you come together in this current life it's just so intense this could even be like even now like you have not met them or maybe you have but you don't realize that this is your twin flame yet um you may feel like like this emptiness not necessarily in a negative way but just like this feeling of like there's a part of you that's not that hasn't quite been like um like if you think about like a jigsaw puzzle or just like a puzzle in general or um even like lego pieces or building blocks like it's like it's not fully put together you know what i mean like the pieces of the puzzle it's like this this feeling of like in your heart like the pieces of the puzzle haven't been put in place yet and you're kind of just like waiting for those for this like piece that's still out there that's kind of the energy that i'm getting um but in your heart and here i'm getting that in your past life um there was some kind of in order to be together i think that i'm getting the strong energy that this is their energy um, it's like they had to give up a part of themselves to be with you. This is almost like, you know, this is, I didn't want to, you know, say something this cliche, but this is almost like Romeo and Juliet energy I'm getting. Um, you know, they had to like, but in, in that case, you know, it ended tragically and, you know, you know, sad, but this is more like, um, it's like they have to give up a part of themselves to be with you, whether it's. I don't know like it's something like it's giving up something that doesn't align with like this beautiful soul connection that you have that um but they will you know eventually if they love you enough they will definitely give it up um or if they feel strongly enough about the uh connection which um judging by the spread um i think they will they will you know be bonded enough to this connection to give up whatever that is because ultimately i'm seeing it's like it's a part of themselves that needed to be put away or needed to be um you know laid to rest because it's not really aligning with this beautiful connection and so um but yeah i mean that's really admirable for somebody to like give up 
a part of themselves or whatever it might be um, to be with you. So look at let's look at some more images here to get some more messages, some more imagery. So I'm getting vanilla sprinkle, connect, and house. So I'm really getting the strong vibe that yeah, once you meet, once you get together, it's like you're just going to be so bonded. It's going to be really intense. Like, this isn't just going to be like a slow burn or like, I don't know, or, you know, wishy-washy. This is going to be like, once you meet them, it's going to be like, boom. Like, you just feel it and it's intense and it's just like you feel, I mean, look at this. Like, they're just like two souls. This is the same imagery as this. Look, it's like two entities, but you're sharing the same heart oh my god isn't that so cool it's basically like the same image side by side but that's what i'm getting it's like this isn't um you know weak or wishy-washy this is like you just know like both of you guys know that this is it basically that you're twin flames and also i'm getting the house so i think that there's something something important here in regards to a house i'm not really sure what it is you might meet at like a friend's house or like a place like a museum or some kind of structure that looks like a house or something like that um hmm so just keep that in mind the imagery of a house let's look at uh some more imagery here so we have vulnerability so yeah you know along with everything else you're gonna feel really um you know open with each other able to really share vulnerabilities with each other and that's ultimately what will draw you to them or draw you to each other and then here we have wild so believe in your otherworldly beauty dance with the waves and drink in the sunshine so yeah another thing that you're going to be drawn to each other or they'll be drawn to you for is that you are once again you allow yourself to be open vulnerable you don't have any walls up it's beautiful so like, comment, subscribe, share if this resonated with you. And I just want to remind you again, group three for this crane, that I now have an Etsy page where you can get personal email readings from me. And the link to that Etsy page is in the description box below. Bye.